we um, also can look at whether or not, like what are the incidents that results in some kind of injury? So we had enough data from bike maps in Victoria that we could actually do a statistical assessment of what predicted whether or not a bike crash would result in having to go get medical treatment. And what we found was both not unexpected, but also unexpected. So in Victoria, there's an urban deer problem. So if you're riding your bike, so this has happened to me several times, I'm riding my bike through um, a quiet neighborhood in the morning when it's sort of dawn. And all of a sudden, a three point buck just like jumps out of the uh, somebody's yard and runs across the road. So it turns out actually this is causing a lot of collisions and bicyclists have reported very serious injuries. And this probably would not show up in official insurance reports. So I think that's pretty interesting. We also found that train tracks were really problematic. And there was a few spots in Victoria where the design of like, how the train tracks and the bike facilities intersected weren't good and people were getting hurt. Um, transient hazards like leave, leaves and construction. So construction actually can be super dangerous for bicyclists. So it's something to just watch if you are a bicyclist, if you're entering into a construction zone, these can be particularly hazardous. And whenever a vehicle seems turns left, this is actually consistent with all kinds of literature um, on transportation. That left turning vehicles, you know, it's just a difficult maneuver and it tends to be one of the most hazardous. So well, things that, um, you know, are frequent, but but didn't end up requiring medical treatment were things like falls where someone hit a pothole maybe, right hooks. So this is where the bike and the car um, are side by side at the intersection and then the bicyclist is going right and the car, no, sorry, the bicyclist is going straight and the car turns right. Um, that could be problematic. And dooring. So when bicyclists have to just drive by a bunch of parallelly, <laughs> vehicles parked parallel to the street. Um, if the drivers are opening up their doors without shoulder checking, then this can lead to um, bicyclists getting hit as well. 